The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land and his season, and to bless all the work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Welcome back to Wealthville Ministries. Dr. Angela here. I'm so excited to have you here. Welcome to the family, wherever you're coming in from around the globe. I love you with the love of Christ. Jesus loves you so much. and Never forget that. I want to thank all of you who have supported the channel, who have supported the ministry, who have sewn into Waffle Ministries. God bless all of you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I want you to understand today that God is giving you plenty in this season. And this is what the word of the Lord says. It says that God will open up his storehouses. He will open up thy storehouses and all that setteth thy hand unto he shall bless thee you will have blessings so whatever your hands touch will turn to prophetic gold whatever your feet land on you will be blessed so whether you're going in or whether you're stepping out you shall be blessed coming in and going out and whatever your hands touch will turn to prophetic gold in this season, and your barn shall burst with new wine. You will be blessed coming in and blessed coming out of the city. Your offspring will be blessed. Your cattle, right? You will multiply. You will increase in every area. You will elevate in every area in your life. And I want to let you know it is written. Your life is written. It is written that you prosper and be in good health. It is written that you are rich, that God gives you the power to give wealth. It is written that God has a promise, as he said in Deuteronomy 1.11, the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are and bless you as he has promised you. That is a promise that has to come to pass because his word spoke it. And when God put a word, it has to come to pass. And so I just decree and declare over your life today that the words of the Lord will come to pass in your life, that you will be literally living the pages of of Deuteronomy 28, the blessings of the Lord that he wants to be saw on you, my God. And I understand that God is a God that does not lie. His word does not turn void. And so whatever he is speaking to you, it shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. And understand that the season that you're in, God is going to give you rain. It says it here that he's going to give you rain. You shall not you shall not borrow, but you will lend. You are a lender and you will lend to many. You shall not borrow because you are a lender. You are a head and you are not the tail. You are above and you are not beneath. You are, a, you are in the front of the line and not the back of the line. And you are only going higher. You are only elevating. And there is nothing that the enemy can do about it. Because the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord spoken. And it's written. It is written. It is written. Your life is written. And God said that I sanctified you. I ordained you. He says I called you. And the Bible says do my anointed. Touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. And so nobody can touch you. Nobody can touch you because the angel of the Lord is with you. And the angel of the Lord is camped around about them who fear the Lord, who fear the Lord, who serve the Lord, and you are God's servant. And God said, because you are my servant, because I love you so much, I am going to bless you beyond measures, beyond what your eyes can see. You are going to increase, and you're going to come out with everlasting joy. The, the, the season of pain, the season of heartbreak, the season where you were shattered, the season where you were broke, busted, and disgusted, those days are over. God says no longer. No longer can the enemy have you. No longer can the enemy have what's yours. God said it is written that it is yours. It has your name on it. Says the God of Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham. He says this is yours and it is written. And as you decree and declare the word of the Lord over your life, the prophecy will come to pass in your very life because you, you spoke it, you believed it. You understand that if you put your faith in God, that he is going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. 
my God, for your eyes have not seen it, for your ears have not heard of what he's about to do in your life. And I am so excited. I'm so excited for what God is doing for you. And I'm so uh, grateful that God chose me to put this word out, to give this word to you today. I am honored to be before you. And I give God all the glory and all the praise because he is the one. All the glory belongs to the Father. Amen. All the glory belongs to Ha. right? We would not be as blessed as we are if it was not for Abba, Father. He chooses your inheritance. And the Bible says that you are blessed. You're king and queen of the Most High God. And it's time that you understand who you are in God. Understand that you are worthy of wealth. That you are worthy of love. That you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. I see marriages coming. I see new houses. Right? I see new re relocation. I see new ministries uh, just thriving, my God. I see new keys. Right? I see doors of opportunity. People walking into doors, new doors of opportunity. And God said, I will put you before great and mighty men. I will put you before kings that will give unto your bosom. They will favor you because the Lord thy God, because the Lord thy God is in the midst of you. And so you attract blessing. You attract wealth. You attract love. You attract everything good. Everything good. And the Bible says that God did not give you a spirit of fear, for he gave you love, joy, peace, and a sound mind. And so my prayer is that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers, and that you will prosper, and that you will not leave the month of July empty-handed, my God. You will not leave this month empty-handed, but I love you with the love of Christ. I encourage every one of you to sow into the word of the Lord today. So into the word of the Lord today and understand God is making a way for you. He's parting the Red Sea for you. And all you have to do is st step out of the boat, walk on water and walk through it. He is open it for you. He says, come sit at the table with me. I prepare the table before you in the presence of your enemies. My God, understand God is doing a new thing. The oldest past. And the new has begun. You are a new creature in God. You're a new creature. And so everything new, everything will be new in the month of August for you. I prophesy that over your life right now. I decree and declare victory over every situation. My God, God is real. And he is going to show you that he is real. He is going to show up for you. He is going to come through for you in such a way that you have not seen, you have not heard. So get ready for overflow and understand God is about to blow your mind. God is about to blow your mind. God bless you, family.